Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. Here are the highlights. Namasa returns to Shagamo after protest over Naira scarcity. Dem Pollen Tallinn says Nigerian government is pushing for more protection and implementation of policies that address gender issues. Federal High Court Abuja grants bail to nephew of Kogi State Governor Ali Belo. Namasi has returned in some parts of Shagamo as the Commissioner of Police Frank Oba led police team with the support of military men to tackle the situation. The protest over the scarcity of new Naira notes at the Shagamo area of Ogun State has led to the vandalization of banks, local government office, IBEDC office and other public infrastructure in the area. No fewer than four banks were reported to have been attacked by the rioters as they set a bonfire on the roads. They also attacked the local government office and moved some of the valuables in the building out and set it ablaze. The aggrieved youth lament hardship they are facing for days without having access to cash to buy their daily needs. Nigeria's Minister of Women Affairs, Dame Pauline Tallinn, says the Nigerian government is pushing for more protection and implementation of policies that can address issues of gender biases in the country. The minister acknowledges that the Buhari administration has done a lot to ensure inclusivity in governance, but says more can be done for women, girls and persons with disability. This is the second edition of the International Women's Day Awards to celebrate prominent Nigerian women and men contributing to leadership and gender equity in the country. The U.S. mission to Nigeria in partnership with the diplomatic missions and delegations of Australia, Congo, the European Union, France, Germany, the U.K., the U.N., Women and the United Nations Development Programme in Nigeria, as well as nominees from different categories, graced the red carpet. The Federal High Court Abuja, presided by Justice Obiore Guatu, has granted bail to the nephew of Kogi State Governor Ali Belo in the sum of 500 million naira. Mr. Belo was granted bail alongside three others. As part of the bail conditions, the defendants has to provide two sureties, each in like sum, and must be residents in Abuja. The sureties must have landed property worth 500 million naira in Abuja and the original title of the property deposited with the court. The sureties must also provide evidence of tax payments from 2020 to 2023 and payment must have been made as at when due. The defendants are not to travel out of the jurisdiction of the court, that's Abuja, and must deposit their passports with the court. The sureties must also provide valid means of identification. Olu Atuashida Thoth, the Olu of Wari, has charged Nigerians to be thorough and deliberate in their choice of those to lead them in order to not repeat mistakes of the past. The Wari monarch who gave the charge in a message titled A Call for Peace and Participation in the general elections said it was time for Nigerians to show that their voices and votes matter. He said the 2023 general elections have presented a golden opportunity for the people to redirect the affairs of the country in a way that will be beneficial for all. The monarch, however, noted that the only way this could be achieved is for the people, especially young people, to come out en masse to cast their votes for the right persons.